to play in a foul called in backcourt. And we have the new champions for the NBA. Next one at first in 1970. And they've come back now to win it in 1973. They lost last year to the Los Angeles Lakers. Four games to one. Won the first one. The Lakers won four in a row. The Lakers won the first one this year. And now New York is going to come back to win four in a row. Jackson makes the free throw. The final score is academic. Take a look here at one of the big plays in the ball game. Knicks have 100 points. As Jackson makes both free throws, the ball just got away. Actually, Monroe knocked the ball loose from Goodrich. Frazier picks it up down court, gives to Earl, and is tipped in by Jackson. Three seconds to play. They give it down court to Chamberlain. He drops it in. One second to play. One. Knicks are hugging each other and having some fun, but they inbound it. The clock goes, and the game is over, and New York has won the ball game. For locker room, I know how to get there. <laughs> he's on his way to the locker room. That's where he's going. The New York Knicks headed for the quiet of their locker room, having won the NBA championship. Four games to one, 102-93, beating the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, New York tonight is the only the second team in NBA history to win the championship on a foreign court. The Boston Celtics did it here in 1969 when they beat the Lakers in the seventh game. And now, New York has won it in the fifth game, 102-93.